Hello guys, what's up? I'm the Top But Doom here doing another video for you guys, and this time I'm building the Halo Mega Blocks UNSC Jackrabbit Blitz set. Apparently it has Blitz in the name. Just like the, the Banshee Blitz has Blitz in the name, this has Blitz in the name. So yeah, I'm doing a build, you know, I, I figured why not. The set has Douglas. Douglas is my middle name. So we got that. And then we got uh, the, the brute, the brute bad guy on the side. There's the back of the box. There's the other side. There's the top with Douglas. And then we got the bottom. So that's what that all looks like. So yeah. Um, you know, I just figured why not do another build video. I did one for the uh, UNSC uh, uh, Kodiak. Keep forgetting that name for whatever reason and uh, I'm just going to tell you I did uh, an opening video on not an opening video uh, is it an opening video it's an unboxing video uh, but I don't know if opening video what yeah they would oh, okay never mind what am I saying okay I did an unboxing video for this okay that's what I was trying to say and it's probably the worst unboxing video that I have ever done so there's that but anyways I'm pretty happy that now I have two of these and uh i might pick up the third so who knows about that and what's cool about this is halo wars 2 apparently just came out today so there's that anyways um so with that out of the way pretty interesting that i got two halo wars 2 sets and they're my first two on the on on, on the day and near the day that halo wars 2 comes out so there's that ah uh, this is going to be fun, I can tell. Anyways, let's go ahead and open it up. Unlike some of the other boxes, you don't open it up from the side. You open it up from the top. Or can you open it up from the side? Well, I guess you can. I don't know. I'm going to open it from the from the top here. Come on. There we go. You got it. Very small box, too. I got to point that out. Actually, pretty compact in there. More compact than the other one. Hopefully, there's no errors in the pieces. But yeah, there's a bag of parts. Includes four bag of uh, bags of parts. There's a lot more parts than I thought there was going to be. There's the uh, instructions. Uh, let's see. Just flip through a little bit. Okay. And we'll get the box. Put that onto the background and let's open up the bags. So we have a bag of small parts. And there we go. Okay. There's one bag. Uh please reply, love your channel. I reply. Dun dun dun. And then we got another bag. I'm sorry if this video turns out to be crap. I did not get a lot of sleep last night. Thinking later today I might just catch up on some sleep. There we go. But I figured I might as well do a live build on this one. I wanted to build this because it looked cool. And so I figured I might as well do it live while I'm at it. And two, it's it's such a smaller set, but uh, I don't think it's gonna take too much time out of my day. So there's that. There's the screen mixed in with everything. I'll move that off to the side. And I think there is, yeah, there's a difference between this and the other one, other than the uh, the number. The piece that's the crotch plate is gray on Alice, on Douglas. It's green. So there is a difference between that which is interesting and again I love how the Spartan the minifigures all together are packaged with their weapons now instead of having the weapons in a whole other bag just randomly somewhere else so anyways those are the parts again shouldn't take that long hopefully it is about 91 parts, which is a lot more than I thought it was going to have. But, hey, 91 parts means those are parts. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and open up the instructions. Um, 
Let's see. Okay, let's build the minifigure first. So this is the second version, or the uh, the second one of these Spartans that I've built. And I don't mean Spartans in general. I mean the the uh, new style for the Halo Wars 2 version. And the elbow for this guy doesn't seem to want to bend too far. I have it on the right way. There we go. I had to click it out of place, though, but hey. Ever floats my boat. And let's just turn the hand. Let's just turn the hand. There we go. All right. So what's the first step? First step is the little ball joint thing. We'll get one of these. We'll plug that right through. It should not take longer than 20 minutes. I'd be surprised if it took 20 minutes. But hey, maybe it will. People who watch this later will definitely know. Uh, damn it. I'm trying to plug that in. Which is really hard. Because one, there's hair everywhere. Stupid animals. And two, all the pieces above the waist keep popping off. Come on. Did I get it in? Come on. Not plugging in. Uh, let's see. Maybe if I do this on the corner of the desk. Why is that not plugging in? Uh, hold on. That's in, okay. I think the peg's a little too thick. Come on. Uh, maybe it will be better if I get in the legs. Or maybe it will be worse. Actually, yeah, it would be, because the last time I did that, the ball joint broke. Let's see, what can I do? What can I do? I mean, I could probably do this another time, but I still want to get this going. Because the waist keeps popping up, so it pushes against that. I don't like this. <laughs> Mega... If there's one thing I don't like about your figures, it's that. Because it's so difficult. Because you're pushing against the piece, which stops it from going in the waist. Hello, uh, Darkness Pencil and the Drama Master 360. All right. I guess that's as good as we're ever going to get right now. All right. Put on the armor on the legs. Come on. There we go. Slide that in. And we'll plug that onto the ball joints. Huh, they need to rethink that. They really do. I get the idea of swapping the armor for that, but... One, I've broken one of these previously, and two, they're just so hard to plug in. They, they really need to rethink that. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. All right, so we got the chest with 042. Awesome. And the back. 
we'll plug in like so. We got the helmet, which is in a brighter color than the rest of the armor for whatever reason. Which, by the way, I've been noticing that all my figures, their heads are the first one to get dusty because they use rubber, I guess, and that just sticks to the dust around the house. I'm not sure. Come on. There we are. There. I don't know how dust works. And then we got a couple of pistols. So yeah, I am two-thirds of the way done with that. And the other one is just a cheap $5 set, so I just might get that. All right, let's put the minifigure in the back. Let's uh, put them on the base plate first. There we go. It's a black base plate. I wish it was um, camo, but whatever. I guess they didn't want to do that. All right, let's go ahead and build this thing. Yes. Mm, yes. All right. So we're going to need a couple of the cheese slopes, but not... Is it this cheese slope? No. There's two versions of the cheese slope piece. One is a shorter one than the other. Oh, it is the green one. So right here. And is that a smaller version too? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, I need the bigger one. And there we go. There's the big one. Okay. So two of those. And then two of these in gray. Then one of these in gray. And then two of these in gray. Let's see. One of these in gray. Oh, I've never seen this piece. It's a three by two. But uh, this section is a two by two. Huh. And yes, I am good. Thank you for asking, Darkest. Dark East or Darkest. Dark, darkest. Uh, let's see. We need one of these three longs. And we need three of these. So one, two, and three. And then we need the chair, which, by the way, is really awesome. I love this. I hope they reuse it on a couple of sets. I just think that looked cool. Uh, okay. So what we need is we need this. We need to plug that at the bottom. What is it? Oh, you mean what was this? It's a... Uh, Halo War set for uh, Mega Blocks. If I said something earlier and you're talking about that, I'm sorry. I'm very tired right now. Plug that in. Put that in. I think I missed a piece. Oh, no. That's just the one that goes back here. So that will go that way, like so. And then this will go this way and that way. And then this will plug on like that. And this will plug on like that, like so. So now we have this section, which uh, we take the seat. We plug that on top. It seems like this set was going to have a lot more custom parts, and I'm surprised that it doesn't have a lot of custom parts. It's actually got a lot of common parts. Although these pieces I don't recall, so there's that. All right. We need one of these. This was the smaller one. Oh, yeah. This is new. I've never seen that. But again, I haven't bought a lot of sets from this year so maybe it's not or maybe it is new but it's pretty common by now uh, let's see so we need one of these we need one of these and then we're gonna need 
two of these. Is that all the parts we need? No, we need a, uh, one of these. Is this the same? Oh, that's the same piece that I got from the, uh, the Kodiak. Thank you so much. I I'm glad someone likes my mocks. Uh, um, <clears throat> Let's see. So we attach these. Like so. Hold on. Did I do that right? Granted, it's only four parts. Yep. Okay. Just want to make sure because I've messed up a lot in the uh, previous set. And also because every color in this instruction booklet looks the same. The only one that actually doesn't look the same is black because it's outlined with the white lines. All right, so we got that. And that goes on the front right there. I do like the look of that. Let's get a little bit more light into that. There we go. There. Yeah, I do like the look of that. Okay. I think I might review this next for that um, series thing that I'm doing. We got this. But we'll have to wait and see. Which side is this? Is it this way? No, it's the other way, I think. Yep, it's that one. I need one of these, one of these, which I don't recall ever seeing, so that's probably a new part. Let's see, is it this one? Yep, yeah, it's this side. And then we need a tire. All right, so we'll plug the tire right. Oh, no, wait, okay. Uh, let's see. We plug that right there. Sorry if the lighting sucks and my hands are in the way, but whatever. It is how it is. We plug that right there. Or does it go the other way? Nope, it goes that way. And then we plug... Uh, I think I did grab the wrong side. Yep, I grabbed the wrong side. There we go. Let's see, flip that around. Yeah, okay, so it is this way. Uh, let's see. Then we turn this around, and we get the wheel well. And we plug that right there, which, by the way, I really like that part. And then we plug that right there. That looks pretty good, and it gives it enough room to still spin with that. I heard that apparently this vehicle sucks. I don't play the games. I just, I really like the, the toys themselves. So, I heard that this isn't, um, God, I'm tired. <laughs> you can tell that I'm tired. Um, I, I heard that apparently the Jackrabbit sucks in the game. But I think that was based on the beta, so I don't know how it is now. Oh, my self mock, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I do like how that turned out. There's there's some things I would like to change, as, as much as I like to say, you know what? It, it, if I want to design it like this, I want to design it like this. I did design it using spare parts, so I, I would like to. If I had a bunch more parts, yeah, I could do something different with it, but. Um, now I don't, so I just keep it like that, and I'm fine with that. I like that. I like the uh, the front wheels and how they turn. That's pretty cool. That looks pretty awesome. It's uh, smaller than I thought it was going to be, though. I'll say that. And then we got these, which I think were just introduced in LEGO 2. Um, so we got a couple of these clips that we need. And then we got these. 
What else do we need? We need that piece right here, and then we need the wheel. Well, that's a big piece. I like that with the UNSC logo on the side. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome. All right, let's see. So we got that. That goes on the side right there. Huh, I'm trying to think of like, is there something I could tell you guys? It's an update or anything like that? Um, I'm trying to think of a good conversation to start on, but I can't think of anything the top of my head um yeah <laughs> just yeah uh, okay so i thought there was going to be a hole on the other side of the tire no it's just one i do like this tire though I, I i don't know all right let's plug that on the other side yet yeah, it is a lot smaller than i thought it was going to be but you know it feels a lot bigger than the siege bike i'll give it that and I, I like how in the pegs they have a little bit of give, although some people would probably not like that. It gives the feeling that it's got some suspension to it. So, uh, you know, that's pretty cool. Actually, yeah, it really feels like it's got some suspension going on, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we need uh, – no, not that. We need this one, the pin with the stop. Uh, thing because you can see that there is a difference. You can see that one's shorter, so we need the shorter one, and we need this. Another cool piece. I wonder if that's new. The tampo is offside, but uh, and, and also it's smudged on the side here too. But yeah, someone took their finger and just smudged it with the paint. However, I will say that it, it looks cool <laughs> but yeah that's clear that someone just smudged that um I, i'm on like the side of like i don't know how i feel about that on the same side i'm just like that is also kind of cool so, uh let's see then we have that and this this isn't new i believe I, i've seen this piece before it could be wrong anyways that will plug in right there and very nice. I like how smooth that is. Like how close that is to the the front of that, so it doesn't even look like a Megablox thing. Then that's supposed to plug into here. Leave. Oh, you are supposed to, I believe, plug this first, or yes, but the other way around. You idiot, Brian. You stupid. Come on. There we go. And we plug that on the front. And there we go. Very cool. I mean, I like that alone. I, I think that's a pretty good look. All right. And then we attached something onto that. So we need those weird looking parts, like so, with the holes. Uh, we need one of these. We need one of these with the weird look to it, and then the piece sticking out from the bottom. Pretty cool piece. Um, oh, we need both of them. Uh, let's see. We need this with the pins on the side. Again, I've never seen that, not as far as I know. And then that. And then this, I recall. Yeah, okay, yeah, I've, I've seen that. Um, and I believe those are all the parts. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, we got that. Let me plug those off to the side. Pretty cool that uh, you could just plug those in like that if you want. There we go. And I believe that plugs in right there. And then, do, 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 do. let's see, what else do we do? Okay, so that will plug in to the back, like so. There's a lot less uh, customized parts than I thought there was going to be, actually. 
Thought there'd be more. Thought there'd be a lot more, but no. Or, eh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I wish you further improvements on the channel. Yeah, I kind of do too. Well, since my uncle ended, I'm not sure what to do about that. I mean, I'm not quitting from Biotube. It's just like, well, what do I want to do now? Because, uh, I mean, originally my channel was just like mostly Halo Mega Bloks. Uh, does this plug in that way? No, it plugs in this way. So. I'm not going to be like, I don't want to be all build videos, though. I mean, they're fun, but, you know, and I don't want to be all Minecraft videos, too. But who knows? Maybe after me saying that, it's all going to be Minecraft videos and whatnot. I do like how the screen moves so it gets out of the way. I was worried about that. So, yeah. I like that. That's something Batman would drive. And I believe what's left is the gun. So we need this clip. We need this. Oh, we need two of those. And two of these. Is there no spare parts in the set? I don't think there's a single spare part because it looks like we're going to need everything. That. That. Uh... It looks like that might be the only spare part in the whole set. That, that, these two, and then that. Yeah, that's the only spare part in the whole set. And I'll plug that after. Okay, uh, let's see. How do we do this? Okay. So that will plug in. Right there, like so. Straighten that off. So it's got a little hinge. And then this will lug through, like so. Very nice. And then let's see. We got um, we got the other side. All right. Then we got, um, let's see, we plug this onto the bottom. If you really wanted to do something with the spare part, you could put it right on top of here. I'm not seeing anything that that does. Oh, I love the silver on this. You know, the figures have had less and less paint, like the black wash, but the silver on this is very nice. Uh, let's see. We plug this cheese slow piece on the side. Mega Blocks needs to do, uh, to step up their game with spare parts. Uh, yeah, I kind of agree, but at the same time, it's like I get why they wouldn't, especially on a set this size. You know, I, I wasn't really expecting too many small parts. I was expecting like. Maybe two or three more. But, um, see, here's the thing about the spare parts. One, usually with the spare parts, they included a two by four block, and now they're including these base plate things. And the two by four extra piece was meant to hold the figure in place. So, you know, there's not, um, <clears throat> not much use to that. So you don't have that piece, so you don't. It doesn't feel like you get as much. Um, that and... You also have to think that that's going to cost a lot. You know? Well, maybe not cost a lot, but that's all just spare parts that Mega is uh, paying for. Do I have any plans for the future? On my channel? I don't know. I have a few ideas that I want to do, but I don't know. And there's the UNSC Jackrabbit. That's uh, that's the whole set. 
And uh, I will say it looks a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Let's see. Okay. So, yeah, that's the uh, UNSC Jackrabbit, and I really do like that. Again, yeah, it is what it was going to be, but uh, it's not bad. I mean, it's a uh, start, you know. And I do like the suspension to this. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and open this up. You can take the figure, you can take off the pistols, you can plug them right along here, which is good. And you can also do the same with the Kodiak. There's little clips inside the, the Kodiak. It won't fit the shotgun or the battle rifle that Alice includes, uh, which Alice comes with that set. But I'm pretty sure you can add pistols to it. So I think that was the intention of adding Douglas. This is Douglas, right? Yes, Douglas. All right. Um, so, yeah. Unfortunately, there's no spot to really put Jerome then. But that's okay. Uh, his hands don't really reach. Not reach it, but you have to bend the elbows in, which I don't have it that way. Uh, I mean, you could do that easily. <laughs> don't know why I'm complaining about that. So simple. All you have to do is rotate the elbows. That's it. Okay. Although it just looks a little awkward to me. So there we go. There's one hand in. And there's another hand in. And he's sort of forward, but, you know, that's fine. And then that. Oh, okay. So now this won't go down all the way now. Or maybe that's supposed to look like like that. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's supposed to look like that. I don't know. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the UNSC Jackrabbit with the little Spartan figure inside it. Um, yeah. <laughs> I like the little gun on the back. I thought I wouldn't care the gun, but I kind of like the little gun. It's just small enough to be cool. Oh no! Oh okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Try and attach that again. There we go. So, yeah. I mean, I, I, I like the set. It's not overly impressive. That's hilarious. Look at the figure. Hey, mommy, change me. Okay. Um, yeah, it's not overly impressive, but, yeah, I mean, it's charming. Um, I'm glad I bought it with the... Uh, the uh, the Kodiak on sale, at least, so it doesn't feel like I paid too much for it. it was, like, this is 12 bucks around here, and with taxes and everything, it was 60 bucks for this and the Kodiak to be sent to me, so there's that. Um, yeah. I'll just leave that off to the side. It's a spare part, I guess. So with that out of the way, I thank you guys for watching Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun dudes. Thank you to the Drama Math 360 and Darkest the Pain Soul for watching the video. And I'll see you guys next time. D